why do we require it basically it helps organize the long code let me show you here i have written a long code for one of my previous video where i was explaining how to create varieties of 3d plots you can see this code does not look good and organized but instead of this i will look to this code it's clearly look organized and feels good so one thing is for sure by creating these sections you can organize your code well another advantage is here you can run a specific section because entire code is divided into several sections it is not required to run the entire program if you just want to go for a specific section for example if you are doing some research work where you require to code a long program which takes a long time to run there you can divide that entire code into several sections so that you can run your analysis section with different data multiple times without waiting for a long time to run the entire code so this is what the advantage of running the specific section it would be very much helpful with the machine learning examples or machine learning research here i am generating varieties of 3d plot if i run this code it will take long time to generate varieties of code it's figure 4 figure 3 figure 2 and figure 1 and few figures will be generated after finishing this four figures so i'll close this thing i do not require to observe the all four figures i was interested in just figure 3 this one right so what i'll do i'll stop this thing pause now i'll jump to the sections right in this code uh, let's say for example i want to go for this surf plot right so i just select this code and run section and just instantly i got the result if i'm interested in something else like animation then i just click and run that thing and that animation just popped up so here without waiting any delay my program starts giving me the result This is just a small code but for code like machine learning where you require long time to train the machine and then you can check the results right so you just train the machine once and then go for the varieties of results right so at that time this type of sections would be very much helpful in this section arrangement the understanding of program becomes easy you just understand section by section and you can interpret the result of individual sections and you can compare it with the results even the debugging or troubleshooting process also becomes easy if in this entire program for example here it shows that some error on line number 78 so it's tough for me to troubleshoot i need to go through the varieties of lines when this 78 numbers line has some dependency right so instead of this if i go by sections i just check that section number 1 is okay section number 2 is okay section number 3 is okay if something is wrong in section number 5 then the troubleshooting will become very much easier now i'll show you how to create sections till now we have discussed varieties of benefit of sections but now the most important thing is how to create the sections for example i am writing this code here right so i have written this code so whenever you want to create section what you require to do is just add two percentage sign and a new section is created if you want to add some comments to this section you just enter one percentage sign and can add comment one more important thing you can create with this is section fold for example you are working in between line number 94 to line number 101 a new section there are few parameters of this new section which dependent on uh, this uh, 3d mesh graph it's it's just for an example so what you do when you are coding you every now and then look here look here what are the parameters but instead of doing this you can collapse in between sections you can fold in between sections let me show you how to do that for that you require to go to home 
preferences in this editor debug code folding you must check that enable code folding must be checked and then sections enable it apply okay now you see a, a toggle button popped up right so when you just click this toggle button the section will be folded so this is how you can fold unwanted sections not exactly unwanted but for time being you do not want to observe the entire code so like this this folding function will be very handy when you are working with the long codes so that's all from this video and if you want to learn more about the matlab then i can say you must refer this matlab playlist so thanks for watching we'll meet you in our next video